guys this is Tina from Shabby Dabby Doo Doll. welcome back to my channel so I'm here to do a quick flip through of this gorgeous journal here um I think we maybe did one or two things um together in videos but I can't remember what bits we did and what bits we didn't I'm afraid um oh, it's just got a little bit of fabric there um so this is my um go-to style journal so it is made with um a soft cover which has been made from an envelope and then the cover has been covered with fabric. So it's a patchwork fabric like we've made in the mass making sessions. And then we've got lots of different bits and bobs on the front. We've got a gorgeous topper that includes a metal book plate. We've got some flowers and things, a little bow, lots of lace. One of those gorgeous, um, oh gosh, what do you call these? Well, we did the faux um, porcelain kind of brooches. So yeah, I have done a tutorial, I think, for these. I think I did it at the beginning of 2023. Um, so yeah, if you Google, um, or not Google, but you know, search, um, I think we called them the faux porcelain, I think we called them faux porcelain brooches. Um, but yeah, they're really lovely. We glossy accented them. And so they feel just like the little porcelain ones. Um, then we've got this gorgeous bow made from some lace. And then the closure here is just some ribbon, which I've doubled up. Um, so going inside the journal, so it's quite an eclectic journal, but predominantly in pinks and greens and blues. So this we've got, um, we've got some of my autumn blush background papers and then just some brown paper bag kind of running down the spine, sort of reinforcing it. And then we've got some lace down here and some of the gorgeous blingy pearl flowers. And then here, this is just um, a little tuck spot. Now this is actually made from... I think it was uh, an index card or something that's been altered. Um, so various different bits and pieces. This gorgeous flower here, and that's from my Rose Park kit. Um, just, yeah, looks really like a feast for the eyes, doesn't it? And then we've got a little postcard there popped into that tuck spot. And then on the facing page, we've got here this pocket made from, again, the Autumn Blush papers and it's one of those large pockets you've got a pocket here and then you've got a pocket in the side so tucked into the top pocket we've got just a little sort of booklet lots of different sheets of paper this is that deli paper which feels really nice and vintage and then the cover this is from some of my vintage invoices which are in my etsy shop and it's just printed onto vellum i just think that looks so lovely and there's a lot going on in this page so this is you know it's just kept plain that tucks in there we've got a cluster on here with a wax seal and some bling just looks gorgeous doesn't it I mean that whole that whole page spread just looks lovely and then tucked into the side again just one of my journal cards that again are in my Etsy shop so that just goes in like that and then turning the page over we've got here a pocket now this is from a collage masterboard um it was one of those fussy collage masterboards that we made so loads of different bits and bobs all layered up on here. And then we've got some lace and some, um, you know, flowers and things like that. We've got a label and a postage stamp. And then we've got some fabric ruffle with some bling. Lace down the side and a bit of stamping. And then tucked into the pocket, there's just a large tag there. And then just a flippy pad with a few different papers in there. That just all tucks in. And then on the facing page, we've just got here a little tuck spot made just from a stitched cluster. It's got one of my fairy tale words um, sentiments on there and then just lace trim down, down the side. And then tucked into that tuck, we've just got a little fold out that's made from some internal envelope. Again, I just think that's really nice, the simplicity of it. It's got a label and just a little flower so that just tucks up there. And then going over the page, we've got here some collage masterboard and this is with some snippet strip um, stuck on there and some lace and some lace down the bottom. And again, you've just got a journal card tucked in to the side and then a bit of stamping up there and some more of my autumn blush papers there. And also here on the facing page, some lace trim and some uh, wax um, seal. And then this page is kept plain just predominantly for journaling. Absolutely just love how that looks with that tealy coloured lace just kind of like coming in from the back and then some teal stamping in the corners. It just looks really pretty, doesn't it? It's kind of framed by the teal. 
And then on this page, we've just got a large paper clip. So this is an altered paper clip with kind of banner pieces on. And that's just holding this large journal card here, which has just been backed onto some internal envelope. And that just goes onto there, oops, onto there like that. And then on the other side, it's holding this huge journal card, which is an altered, um, it's, uh, what are these called? You know, like the dividers for like the index cards. And it's quite a large one, as you can see. So you don't very often get these size um, index cards, but isn't it just so lovely? And I just went with it, with it, you know, in this kind of massive size. And it just makes the most gorgeous journal card, doesn't it? So we've got loads of different bits layered up. Flowers from my Junk Journal Basics Kit 1. Um, labels and a butterfly also from the Junk Journal Basics Kit 1. And then this gorgeous image from... This is from one of my vintage ephemera, um, Victorian ephemera pieces. I think it might be set two or set three. I do apologise, I can't remember quite which set it's from. And then you've got some doily and things and some book page, but I just love that. And again, lots of journaling space on the back, journaling space here. So that just, oops, tucks under there. Just got to be careful that you don't damage the flowers. Um, this one here, again, the page is predominantly kept plain for journaling, but just a cluster up there. And that's just holding in another journal card, which isn't that just gorgeous. So that just goes onto there. Lace trim just coming out behind. And then lace trim down here. Again, isn't this just lovely? A corner tuck spot down here. Really love that one. It just looks so pretty. It's the Autumn Blush Papers. Um, and they're just then got a butterfly from the Junk Journal Basics Kit 1. Just with some bling. So super simple, but it looks so pretty. And this green lace oh it just looks lovely and then just a bit of green stamping which ties the lace in and then this lovely tag there tucked into there and then here we've got another um little pocket and it's done like a tuck spot so we've got another bit of snippet roll on there and then just a journal card again very very simple it's just some papers from my um oh gosh what's the word Oh my goodness, I can't remember what they're called now. Oh, I'm so sorry. The bugs and um, those things. Oh, curator's collection. That's it. Um, it's just some paper from there and then it's got various bits layered up and then just some lace stapled on this time and it's all backed onto again that internal envelope just as, you know, journaling space on the back. So that's that one. And then turning the page over again, just a lovely pocket here. And then you've just got a couple of journal cards tucked in to that. Isn't that just so pretty? It's really lovely colours. And then some uh, fabric ruffle with some bling. Plain pages here, just with a bit of teal stamping. A little bit of paper from the Autumn Blush. Again, plain for journaling. You've got then some greaseproof paper. Bit of stamping on there. And some vintage sheet music. And then this one, literally, I just popped on a bit of that green lace with just one of the flowers from the Junk Journal Basics Kit 1. And then this, again, you've got just some paper there from the um, Autumn Blush Kit. But it's been printed onto this very thin tracing paper. So this is absolutely lovely to touch. And then you've just got some lace and a wax seal. And then obviously plain for journaling. Then in here you've got, this is one of my um, pockets from the Perfect Pockets. I think it's the first set, or it could be the second set of the Perfect Pockets sets. They are obviously in my Etsy shop. You've got some lace trim and then just this lovely bow. And then in here, this is just some genuine vintage ephemera in the form of this letter. And then obviously you could journal on the back of there. So that just goes in there. And then here we are, the centre of the signature. Again, what a gorgeous feast for the eyes, these pages. It just looks so pretty, doesn't it? So on here, we've just got um, a pocket here. And oh, this is where I now discover I've not filled half these pockets with things. So let me just pull in. You know, we made all the lovely fillers over Christmas between that Christmas and New Year. We can pull in some of our bits that we made. Oh gosh, sorry, I'm just leaning behind me trying to get to them. So yeah, we can pull in some of those bits that we made. Oh my goodness. They're all kind of, I don't know where they've gone now. Yeah, I don't know what I've done with them, which is pretty annoying. So, well, I have definitely got, um, you know, one of those lovely laminated 
photographs. I absolutely love these, I have to say. So this is one of those laminated cabinet cards. So we can tuck this under that tuck spot there. I think this is a double tuck. So actually I'm going to mix it in with one of my little Victorian Beauties journal cards. And then the oops, vintage photograph cabinet card there. And then we've just got something needs to go in here. So again, let's just take a little bit of one of these. And we can just tuck this in. It's actually a diagonal pocket and it's a pocket here. So oh, just need to find some other bits. Here we go. We've got this gorgeous book image, which has just been backed onto some ivory card. So that can just go into there. So lots of bits going on there. Some lace ruffled down the side and then just some, um, you know, a flower down there. This is from my um, Country Cottages kit. Isn't it just so cute on there? And again, you know, most of these papers that I've used, they're from the Autumn Blush kit, but don't they look gorgeous with all these different bits and bobs? So yeah, really pretty. And then going over the page, we've got another collage masterboard um, that I've used as a belly band this time. So tucked into there, I've just got a little kind of fold out booklets. It's got some, you know, genuine vintage pages there, you know, lined pages for journaling. And then just a couple of bits on the front. So that just goes in, oops, in there like that. Um, another one of those gorgeous flowers just onto that green lace. I mean, just something like that looks so pretty on a page, doesn't it? Just love it. And then you've got some green stamping here, some sheet music. Again, more green stamping onto this greaseproof paper. Plain for journaling here. A bit of lace and then some more green stamping there. Another fabric ruffle. And then another pocket going across here. So again, a big journal card in there. Loads of different bits layered up. And yeah, it just looks really, really pretty, doesn't it? And then we've got that lovely, oops, that lovely green lace down the edge of the page and then going over we've got this foldy flip belly band well I've stuck it as a pocket actually not a belly band so this is from my um I think it's the Cambridge Garden kit and then I've got this decorative like edge strip with one of my bright butterflies um some lace on there and some pearly trim and then obviously that lifts up and I've just put a cluster down at the bottom and tucked in a button card um, printable from my shop. So that just tucks in like that. That closes down. And then you've got, again, some genuine vintage ephemera. Isn't this lovely? I absolutely love this. It's something from the Land Registry, Land Charges Act, um, application for an official search. Isn't that just so lovely? It's from um, 1933. But yeah. It's just so nice, isn't it? So I've just tucked that in to the side. And then here on this page, we've got one of those double pockets. So in this part, this is again the autumn blush papers. I've just popped a label on there. And then this just folds out little piece that tucks, oops, tucks in here like that. And then just here, I've got another little fold out piece with again just some more pages there for journaling in so just so pretty isn't it that just goes in like that so oops more of that green green lace and then going over the page this is just a little paper bag that's been coffee dyed and then you know kind of collaged up just some page from my junk journal basics kit one one of the labels and one of the roses but doesn't that look lovely i have to confess i made that bag ages ago and it's just been being hoarded in my stash for the longest time because i just thought it was so pretty pop some lace underneath just at an angle and again more green stamping on the corners and then just a couple more of the button cards go into that paper bag and then here some more genuine authentic uh, genuine vintage ephemera and this one oh i don't think it's got a date on it any torn pieces that was how it came to you know when i got it so this obviously as you can see it's kind of quite damaged here um but you know i still think it's lovely i love this um scripty kind of font so that goes there then you've got plain for journaling again more of that lovely teal stamping this is just some paper bag and then it's just got some more pages from the um autumn blush kit and then here some book page 
and then some doily weirdly i don't recall seeing any of that stuff on the other side did i just kind of skip past that and not really mention it i i don't recall saying about it but it, it must have been in there oh look it was paper clipped in in amongst this i thought well that's really weird because i don't recall seeing any of that so yes that was all in here so we missed a whole bit so we've got this stamped image on top of the lace we've got some doily book page and then here paper bag it's not got anything in it i can just quickly pop something in it now in fact so yeah let's just take one of these will that fit as it is oh will it oh, sort of a tight fit so i'm just going to yeah fold it over just at the top so yeah that just goes in there and then here oh perhaps i'd meant to put this in in the paper bag so we've got this little fold out piece just again got just a little tiny bit of snippet and some lace and that just goes into the pocket can't believe i <laughs> just bypassed all of that i mean it was only because i just thought well that's so weird i don't recall seeing any of that stuff you know and i thought well i i am forgetful so maybe i did and just can't remember but i thought no i really don't remember so yeah that's why because it was all clamped in in amongst this so there we go right go back to that other section okay so yes and then we've got um doily and then some more of the teal stamping this is a bit screwed up from the you know the coffee dyeing process and the ironing um again it doesn't really bother me but i do just want to point it out because you know it may bother whoever buys it so yeah it's just got some kind of screwed up bits there this is from the autumn blush this is some more stamping and then here another one of those green lace um parts with just a little flower i mean they look so pretty don't they and you know i mean it's not even worthy of the name cluster or the word cluster it literally is lace with just a flower stuck on it but it just helps to tie everything together then here we've got this ginormous pocket now again confession time this i would made this pocket such a long time ago and of course yes i've hoarded it like forever <laughs> because it just was so pretty so it's actually my Belgian blue paper at the back and then it's um, got one of these um, Victorian ephemera pieces again from the, it might be kit two or three, possibly even four. Um, obviously they're for sale on my Etsy shop and you would then recognise which it's from. And then it's just surrounded with the flowers from the Junk Journal Basics kit one with some butterflies also from the kit one. Just some lace but doesn't that look so, so pretty? I love the colours and things together. It looks gorgeous, doesn't it? And then I just, again, made a little foldy kind of booklet. This is using some paper from my Taperology, um, you know, uh, sort of goodie box that I received. And, yeah, it's got this kind of, like, weird holy texture. So it's handmade paper with this holy texture, which I thought was just really fun and made quite a nice cover. So that's just then pops into there. And then going over the page, we've got here a double corner pocket. Again, there's nothing in here, so let me just pop something else in. Oh, oh I can't think what I did with all the things that we made at Christmas, which, what is wrong with me? Fancy losing those. Well, I haven't lost them. I've obviously put them thinking, oh, I'll put them somewhere safe. And honestly, I know I've said this before, but that's just code for never to be found again. So I have to look around and see what I did with them. So that goes up there and then here we've just got this lovely big journaling card again it's just got neutral um paper on the back but isn't that just so lovely and then we've got this ruffled up sari silk on the bottom absolutely just love that card so much and that just tucks in like that and then here kind of matching the journal card we've got a pocket down here and that's just got a little flippy pad with some of my food colored papers there and some lace trim across the top and again some more of that ivory sari silk and then going over the page we've just got this is the final page now we've got this other big pocket now this has got um uh the autumn blush papers and then it's got one of my faux um postage stamps here just kind of you know popped onto the corner and then we've got this large journal card uh, not journal card tag sorry that just tucks in like that and then here again another one of those button cards which don't they just look really pretty with all of these papers 
and then here on the inside of the back cover this is just a an altered envelope which actually folds out so this is from my um uh, i can't think of the name of the kit that this is from either i think it's from the red birds kit but again mixed it with these butterflies um which just looks so pretty they're just from my bright butterflies a label from the junk journal basics kit one we've got lace up here lace down there and this blue lace and then a wax seal bit of bling and then when you open it out i just lined the envelope with some more of the autumn blush we've got autumn autumn blush papers here and then tucked in this is just one of my vintage invoice pieces you know with the flowers on again just being kind of gone shut and inked up and things so that just all tucks in there and then the underneath page you know here is just quite plain so i mean you could always pop something down stick it down um or you could just leave it like this obviously um you know completely up to you maybe you'd want to add like a flippy pad or something like that there you've got quite a few options really of you know what you could do there really um but yeah so that's the entire journal i hope you like it um now i do i don't really have a waiting list any longer um because you know i think i explained before that was not really kind of very um easy to manage uh because obviously then lots of people then they don't reply when you kind of message them and say you know i've got a journal and things like that so i've had to do away with the waiting list um but i do have a lovely lady who's been messaging you know many times so um she's going to be offered first refusal of this journal so it will either be on my website in which case it will be marked for sale or obviously it will be marked as sold if it's already sold so yeah i hope you like the flip through and um obviously if it's marked available then do head over to my website and check it out and yeah thank you so much for watching hope you feel inspired and yeah please um you know give this video a thumbs up if you like the journal and yeah i will see you in the next video thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys soon Thanks then. Bye.